As time goes on, legacy distributed control systems are aging. Replacing components is getting harder and harder as parts become more difficult to find. Eventually, something won't be there when you need it. This creates the creeping risk of an eventual production interruption or plant shutdown, something nobody wants. Distributed Control Systems, or DCS, must be reliable first and foremost, and you don't want your DCS sailing off into the sunset while it's still needed. Old systems also can't take advantage of modern advances in functionality when it comes to IoT connectivity, cybersecurity, or other features. Modern plans should have secure and robust functionality, but if your DCS system is antiquated as valuable features roll out year after year, your plant will be left behind. So eventually, it becomes clear that a change is needed. But which one? A top-layer upgrade? A cable migration? A total replacement of all cabinets and wiring? For over 25 years, Schneider Electric has offered a simple, elegant, low-risk, highly cost-effective answer to that question. A unique DCS migration built around I.O. card swaps. You simply take out the old cards and plug in the new one. This allows you to keep your existing wiring and cabinetry right where it is. That way, commissioning can be done in days, not weeks or months. You get the benefits of modernization without the expenses, difficulties, shutdowns, or delays of other approaches. In addition, when you go the total rip and replace route after the project has begun, you're all in. There's no going back and no plan B. You're committed and the chips will fall where they may. The Schneider way, on the other hand, allows us to flip right back to your existing systems if we hit any unanticipated issues. Risk is managed and controlled, helping ease the transition to your new setup. It costs 50% less on average when all costs are considered and allows you to leverage your existing hardware and wiring, freeing you up from the need to rebuy assets, remodel, or cram new equipment into your already cramped rack room. That said, you might be wondering how we go about it. That's one of the main topics of this video. We'll cover a number of things, including how our experienced team can reverse engineer your control configuration and produce a new one that replicates your existing controls and retains the operational knowledge of your processes. We'll go over some of the concepts that drive the business decisions around DCS upgrades so that it's clear why card migration is often the most financially sound option. After that, We'll get into a quick snapshot of existing technology and some of the considerations regarding your hardware. Sections 4, 5, and 6 will walk you through code conversion, hardware conversion, and project commissioning. Following our explanation of how migrations take place and are completed, we'll get into a short discussion of total costs of ownership of various options and show the full financial benefits of Schneider's approach. It's everything you need to know about Schneider Electric's approach to DCS migration. Let's get into the business case for the project. When it comes to DCS migrations, it helps to think about things in terms of gain, not just costs and expenses. There's a lot to be gained by doing a smart migration. A modern system offers the ability to become quite a bit more efficient, allowing your team to do more and react with greater speed to changing conditions. A modern DCS can make your entire operation that much more nimble. With greater control, connectivity, and transparency, you can become more productive and reliable as well. IoT connections can help you improve asset performance and utilization. You'll also have a platform to build advanced and enhanced controls. If your software environment isn't up to date, your staff may be forced to struggle with a cumbersome interface. In contrast, a modern human-machine interface design allows you to shift your focus to situational awareness and modern security tools. This helps you adapt continually at the pace required by today's business needs. You'll also be able to promote full compliance with industry standards, rules, and regulations far more easily. A Schneider Electric migration allows you to retain key knowledge, capturing the methods and techniques that senior staff have used to maintain operations for years. That way, valuable information won't be lost to time or retirement. You can also ensure production repeatability and accuracy and provide the potential for far more robust and cost-effective asset management. Work is changing, and as new professionals enter your teams, it can be beneficial to take advantage of their inclination to import modern functionality into your control systems. 
There are several things to consider. Minimalized production outage time, accuracy in retaining your application program, project execution experience and excellence, a platform to build future enhancements upon, and of course, the lowest possible capital cost and expense. A Schneider Electric Card Swap migration allows you to bring production outage time down to the bare minimum. As we'll describe in upcoming parts of this video, the entire conversion phase culminates in proven tested cards that are ready to work on your system as soon as they are plugged in. That way, when a switchover occurs, you'll be back up and running normally in just a few hours. In contrast, other approaches that require hardware changes can take weeks or even months. Do you and your colleagues want to go that route? Can your plant take a hit like that? And even after a new system is installed after a rip and replace, there's a whole new system to learn. The results can be turbulent, to say the least. This ties into the benefit of retaining your application programming, too. By keeping key elements of your old system in place, we minimize the need to reinvent the wheel. The goal is access to modern functionality without undue disruption to processes that are already working fine and are close to optimal. When you connect your new system modules, everything you expect to see is right there. We preserve key programming, keeping your system running reliably as anticipated. Well, it should go without saying, but you need people with extensive project execution experience and a track record for excellence. Good enough isn't good enough. Our teams are made up of truly seasoned DCS veterans and many years working in the industry on this specific type of technology. They know all the ins and outs, can adapt to any setup they come across, and know how to work with a customer's key concerns. They can reliably drive a project to completion and help you enjoy all the benefits that matter most in your operations, while offering you the peace of mind that comes from working with engineers who truly know their stuff. Your newly migrated system, while preserving prior operating policies, is built to be adapted as desired. If you want to build upon it for further enhancements, you can. This allows you to seek a variety of modern technological benefits without being held back by your current DCS. As we've mentioned, today's compliance and cybersecurity priorities must be met, and Schneider Electric can help you ensure that your system is where it needs to be. The last consideration is for many the clearest driver of them all. Decision makers generally seek the lowest possible capital cost and expense. This is one of the areas where a card swap migration truly shines. We're keeping your existing cabinetry and wiring in place. We're changing only what has to be changed and what can be changed without undue expense. We're not asking you to suffer any big shutdowns and interruptions either. Putting a price tag on those is a reality few plants are ready to face. Instead, we upgrade your system quickly, cost-effectively, and with minimal disruption. In a nutshell, that's the business case for a card swap migration. A wealth of functionality, security, and reliability gain at minimal cost, using an elegant and efficient procedure. It's hard to beat that. That's why clients have turned to Schneider Electric for so many years, and why we continue to work hard to get the word out about what, for many, is the best available answer to an aging DCS. With all that said, let's get into the hardware itself, walk through what's currently in place, and talk about some of the considerations related to your current technology. We're bringing you to our center of excellence for DCS migrations in Montreal, where we have multiple proprietary DCS platforms ready to take on the task of understanding our clients' applications and also staging projects to be delivered for field implementation. In today's conversion, we are using an ABB Bailey Net90 Infa90 as a sample to work through our migration project execution capabilities and show the tools that we have developed through our years of experience. Staged herein are the application programs of both regulatory control programs and human machine interface screens within this aged control platform. You can see the field termination assemblies, interconnected cables, and module chassis that are all proprietary to the original automation manufacturer. We can fully stage the client's existing application within our facility for conversion and test it to ensure expedited installation and commissioning on the production site. We have installed a pilot application within the system hardware to demonstrate our project execution methodology and conversion tools deployed to ensure accuracy in the building of the final application. While performing this migration, 
modern techniques and practices will be utilized to fully enable your operation staff's effectiveness and efficiencies. This includes configuration corrections as needed, a modern human-machine interface focused around situational awareness and anomaly detection, as well as the rationale for alarming functions. Here's the workflow followed for all migration projects by the Center of Excellence with the quality stage gates following project milestones for key deliverables to our clients. First, project kickoff. Second, functional descriptions. Next, design review, followed by building of typical libraries, then building of specific instances. After that, application software generation and pre-factory acceptance testing followed by client witnessed factory acceptance testing, implementation project plan, and finally, installation and commissioning. Okay, now it's time to work through the code conversion. This is the meat of the process, where we capture your existing programming and export it for loading onto your new Schneider Electric system. We begin with the extracted application programs from the existing DCS. Now it's time to launch the Schneider Electric tool and start extraction. Select Export from the proprietary system, review the data, and give a name to the migration card. We need a station name and can also generate allowance for spare modules. The Schneider Electric tool will extract the memos, review the connections, extract the alarms, and then get to work converting. Using the Schneider Electric conversion tools and the migrated system data files, a complete reporting package is provided to the engineering team for analysis and conversion into the new EcoStructure Foxboro DCS platform. Let's examine the results of our conversion tools. Your data extraction log will show all steps taken, including the renaming of the controller. This can help you validate the process and review anything that has occurred giving you full transparency into conversion activity. The merged report shows all the controllers of the system. It highlights cards and signals used on each. It shows replacement parts needed to migrate the process as well. The report also has a summary of all the I.O. points, signal types, and part numbers. If the equipment is needed, it will show in the report. Let's look through the various tabs to see the information logged. Here, there are execution process files for each controller. There's a tab with all the cards in current locations in the rack, so you can see a snapshot of your existing setup. Then there's a tab with the input and output points, citing the configuration information, including the ranging for analog devices. You can see function block definitions with all blocks displayed. Another tab has the global variables to transmit signals from network to network and a local variable for specific networks. There, the block is the raw format of all blocks in the current database. The next tab has the strategy tree. Schneider Electric will reuse this information to propose organizational and logical names that will be easily recognizable and trackable. The following tab shows matches for pattern, algorithm, block count, and content. We seek identical logic where matches are at 100%. This reveals patterns and template potential. After that is a tab for communication coming and going from a controller to another system. This could be a third-party device like a PLC or specialty measurements. Whatever the system is, you'll see that the communication is occurring. Let's look at the Hardware Configuration tab, which captures all the input-output modules and creates equivalent hardware. We capture the failsafe feature of all points and reapply the same failsafe in our system. We automatically create full system configurations, which will be used in I.O. point generation. Nothing is lost. Now you've got all your alarms. We capture all the alarms that are present in the system, analog, PID, and digital. We synchronize the alarm with human-machine interface software and merge the alarm groupings, alarm priorities, and alarm descriptors. The goal is to ensure that the new system mirrors the critical features of the old and reduce duplicate entries. Next, all the critical regulatory control blocks are converted automatically. Converted blocks are also color-coded for analysis and review. When the value doesn't fit with our EcoStructure Foxborough DCS, the cell goes red. This can be due to configuration mistakes or syntax errors within the existing system that have gone undiagnosed. 
For PID controllers, everything is converted, including configuration parameters and tuning parameters. The system is also working on pattern recognition. For blocks that are created, it automatically shows if they match inside of a template and will highlight them in a strategy template. You can sort by the strategy to find these matches. This is useful in the creation of a plant standard, which would ensure consistency for operation and maintenance for the new system. After all that is complete, you've got your converted code, keeping your key existing settings and readying everything for review and adjustment where necessary. This is at the heart of the Foxborough DCS migration advantage, allowing you to retain programming while shifting to a new DCS. You'll also be able to track the conversion process fully and have a reference in the event you need one. The goal is clear, reliable conversion with no mysteries or surprises. We can now load up the application programs into new controllers and staged migration modules for full factory acceptance testing. The procedure includes performance measurements, stress testing, along with human-machine interface functional testing. We're almost there. Now it's time to do the swap. The hardware conversion process begins with choosing a location for your new controllers. While many companies want the advantage of mounting new controllers in the same cabinet as the old ones, some choose to make use of an external cabinet. A number of elements are retained and can stay just as they are. We don't touch certain critical connections, including those from the field device to the instrument junction box, or from there to the marshalling area, or from that spot to the field termination assembly, or from there to the rack. This is one of the key advantages of the Schneider Electric Card Swap DCS migration process. We're disturbing as few elements as possible, which helps us control and minimize risk. And of course, if a reversal is needed, your assets will all still be in place, ready to work with your old cards just as before in a pinch. It's a rock solid level of reliability and risk mitigation. As we mentioned, this also creates significant cost savings. There's no repurchasing of equipment, no need to demolish and install, no risk of issues resulting from reinstallation, and no shutdowns or extensive delays. Cabinet components are built to last if kept in a stable environment, and so there's no benefit to needlessly replacing them. It's your system we want to upgrade, not your fixed assets. Okay, so that said, it's finally time for the big swap. Using careful matching, we take out each old module and load in the new ones to the designated slots and cabinets as planned. Old modules are preserved in organized storage, ensuring your backup plan is safe and secure. No original intellectual property will be left in place and all proprietary structures will be cleansed. There's no copying of internal protocols either. Instead, you'll have a fully functioning brand new eco-structure Foxboro DCS. With Schneider Electric, you also get support and warranty coverage for a number of items, including the field termination assembly, card file racks, interface cabling between rack and termination assembly, and the cabinets themselves. That way, if you have an issue with any of those items, you know who to call. We'll be able to ensure ongoing operation and the quick resolution of any issues you encounter. So there it is, a fully upgraded system with new modernized modules, ready to allow you to take advantage of advanced technology securely while gaining the reliability you need from your control system. And it's all done in an efficient, cost-effective manner. Shall we start it up? Prior to startup, if you haven't used the external cabinet approach, there's a number of tests that need to be run. Actually, the process really begins at Schneider Electric. Once code conversion and loading onto new cards are complete, we do a pre-FAT or factory acceptance test ourselves, typically with you, our client, present. We'll spot test 10% of the cards. If any issues arise, we'll move to 50% testing. If any additional issues arise, we'll pre-test the entire batch. Once everything is working properly, we'll pack and ship it to your facility. Once we've moved the process to your site for a planned hardware conversion, we'll also test existing equipment, including power supplies, stations, and other components to ensure that each item is in good working order prior to a swap. As each test is completed to your satisfaction, you'll sign off and create a record of our efforts. Once it's all ready and the plan is set, 
it's finally time for shutdown. Then we complete the hardware swap as previously described. In the best case scenario, this could be done in a few hours and your new system will be up and running. Occasionally, this can take a few days to fully configure and ensure a totally reliable functionality of your new control system. We know the transitions can be a stressful time for your team and we work tirelessly with you to get everything working the way it needs to be. But this is one of our big advantages, and we always want to make sure that disruption is minimal. Once migration is complete, it's time to check system stability. We'll check valve stroke to ensure proper action, check signals, make sure that no I.O. wires have been left unconnected, and that all field wiring has been retained. At long last, your new system is confirmed to be up and running. The switchover is complete. You've got more control and transparency than ever before, greater security, and can finally sleep at night knowing that your system isn't going to go down unexpectedly with no efficient fix in sight. Delay and disruption were minimal, and costs were well in line with the benefits received. In fact, let's go over that. It's a key consideration for any business decision, and it drives the decision to handle a DCS migration in this way in the first place. The potential risk is driven to the lowest achievable through minimization of component disruption, our decades of experience built into the software conversion tools, and the level of quality testing provided in our scope of supply. Let's talk about the total cost of ownership of your DCS options. When you're evaluating your DCS options, one of the core things to analyze is the total cost of ownership of one choice versus another. In this analysis, we estimate the direct and indirect costs over the useful life of the system. The direct costs are those associated with installing and running your DCS system. This includes the purchase price of the related assets plus the cost of operation over time. While these can vary from plant to plant, direct costs include system hardware and software, engineering and project management, installation and integration of hardware and software, warranties and licenses, migration expenses, and project risk. Indirect costs are costs incurred that are not for the system components themselves. These are often seen as OPEX or maintenance costs, and they occur after your automation system has been placed into service. They include the following. Electricity, air conditioning, downtime, outage and failure expense, diminished performance, security, backup and recovery process, insurance, site maintenance, personnel costs, corporate management time, spare parts, and more. Taking all these things into account, you can see that tearing out and completely replacing your DCS system requires a huge upfront expense, often millions of dollars. It also requires a long shutdown of your plant. The costs of a shutdown vary from plant to plant, but can easily climb into the millions of dollars themselves. In contrast, a Schneider Electric DCS migration largely keeps your existing cabinets, hardware, wiring, and equipment. There's no lengthy shutdown either. So with a smaller upfront cost and quick recouping time, you're back up and running, getting your investment back in less than a year in some cases. You also get increased production capacity due to your gains in automation system efficiency and functionality. The savings between a total rip and replace versus a Schneider Electric migration can be itemized and are quite significant. There are feed design and documentation cost savings of about 50% each. There are training cost savings due to leveraging many of your existing assets and program specifications. Control program building savings of approximately 50%. Construction is obviously quite a bit cheaper with equipment, labor, and wiring almost 100% conserved. Then there's field commissioning and documentation, which yields substantial reduction. These are just a few of the largest expenses. But following the graph year over year, you can see that a Schneider Electric migration delivers value rapidly with a lower upfront expense. It's more cost-effective, more rapidly deployed, and carries much lower risk. For most plants, it's a superior option financially and operationally. As you can see, when it's time to upgrade your DCS, a Schneider Electric card migration can be the optimal solution for many plants. If continuity of plant operations is important, 
I.O. card changeover truly can't be beaten in terms of minimizing disruption and delay. For some of our clients, our conversion team has been able to complete the actual swap successfully in a single day. Having a more modern system in such a short time is often the best way to complete an upgrade without having to take operations offline for any significant length of time. Many of the costs related to plant operation continue even when a plant is shut down. But if nothing is being produced, these costs can be completely wasted during the time of conversion. For extended conversions, these wasted costs can quickly balloon out of control. The upfront costs are far less with a Schneider Electric migration than a total system tear apart and replacement, and these costs are rapidly recouped. There's also far less disruption to profit-making operations. We can demonstrate these things quite clearly. In fact, if you're currently performing a cost analysis, we'd be happy to help show you the true costs of each approach. And if you're worried about bias, you don't have to be. We understand that there are plants that need to modernize from the ground up. We've got no objection to that where it's appropriate and worth the effort and costs. Our general offer is to provide a clear look at what a card migration will entail so that those in plants in need of a more economical, less disruptive option that restores reliability and enables modern functionality can have a straightforward assessment of what may be their best option. We appreciate you walking with us through the process and our discussion of the related considerations. We hope this made things clearer and helped show you the strength of the Schneider Electric approach to DCS migration. Of course, each plant is unique. We understand that your priorities may be different from others or from the things mentioned in this video. We'd be happy to discuss your needs and concerns, as well as the situation at your plant. Our goal is for you to have the best information we can provide. Please feel free to reach out to Schneider Electric at your convenience, and we'll help you find the best option for your automation requirements, whatever it may be.